Okay, so it's seven here in the UK, and I said I'd answer your questions. Laptop, microphone, camera, me. So, uh, I've taken some mind-altering substances uh, that I'm told to by the doctors. So let's try and do this sensibly and honestly. So, first one is Mike. You were the first person to get an email through to me, and it was a joke. It was a joke. Uh, the joke goes, so an Asian guy walks into a bar. He sits down in the bar and starts drinking a beer. The guy next to him goes, <laughs> asks him, you know Kung Fu or Karate or any of this other shableep? The Asian guy replies, why would you ask this? Is it because I'm Chinese? And the guy replies, no, it's because you're drinking my beer. Not funny, funny, answer in the comments. Uh, thanks, Mike. Um, this one's from Ann Kitchberg or Kirchberg. Uh, if you could travel the world, which countries would you like to visit? I'll be straight with you. There's loads of places I'd like to visit in the world, but I, one of my main things that I'd love to do is visit some war-torn countries. Um, People think I'm nuts because of that, but I want to go and I want to go and visit these places and see how human beings deal with all diverse situations and all these horrible things. So that's something I'd love to do. Just go lots of different places, really. To be honest, I'd also like to do some cliff diving. Uh, probably not the best in my situation, but I'd love to do some cliff diving. Thanks, Anne. Um, this one is from T A A R One. Tar one. Uh, this says, I was wondering if you have any pain from the cancer or is it unnoticeable? Uh, what kind of symptoms do you have at the lymphs? Uh, lymphs, sorry, not lymphs. That's like when I went to the doctors and the doctors thought I had a lymph, not a lymph. Uh, right, uh, are they constantly swollen? I'll give you a quick answer on this. Pain is up here. Um, if I could legally do stuff or break the law uh, to control this pain, uh, I would. Having said that, I am looking into how to control the pain and stuff like that, but it's all gonna be ripped out. The pain is like a thudding, throdding, prodding, stabbing, evil little pain in my side. It's not very nice, it's not very uh, good, and it, c it can be, pretty intense. Uh, I have to take a lot of medication uh, to try and keep the pain levels down and if I don't take it I tend to like really go low. So there we go tar one. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, we're only up to the third one out of like nearly uh, 150 odd uh, things here so let's let's crack on. Uh, Stratocatster. Stratocatster. Uh, it says hi Danny boy. Um, <laughs> I need to re-say that. It says, hi, Danny boy. It's got a, it's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice, um, Danny with a D in capitals and a B in capitals. So it's Danny boy, Danny boy. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> He's like, why, 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 why is she laughing at me? Why are you laughing at me? You, you're, you're laughing at me? Okay. She was told not to interrupt, so broken rules there. She needs to be shot. Uh, how can you tell... Uh, hey, can you tell us what time your surgery is uh, on the 28th? I can. It's at 11 o'clock. It's probably going to actually happen at about 1 um, because I have to go through all the pre-surgery regime and stuff. So thanks for that one, Stratocaster. Um... Rosemary S. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, is there a special place on earth that you've never yet been to and would really like to be visit? Right, hobbies wise, I love art and like designing stuff. I love coding stuff. Uh, I'm a massive geek on that kind of level. Uh, this videography that I keep doing and stuff that I love that. I love taking photos of things like just getting involved with nature, kind of learning from uh, how things work. I love studying and researching and stuff. People think that's probably not a hobby, but when you're 
like kind of in bed all the time, that is quite a, a crucial part of my day. It actually gets me out of bed. Uh, as for the places on earth, like I said before, some uh, war-torn countries, I'd love to go cliff diving. I'd love to go to Bali. Uh, I'd love to go to um, Thailand as well and some other places like that. So I'd love to go and see those things. Uh, Atman, uh, I noticed on your, uh, I can't answer this. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Uh, um, I can't tell you how to record stuff uh, illegally. Sorry. No. But I'd love to. But I'm sure there's lots of things that could tell you. Uh, but I'm not going to. Um, this one's from Maria. Uh, my question is, what would you do differently if you were born again? What would I do differently? I wouldn't have been the asshole that I was as a child. Uh, I wouldn't have been that person. That person wasn't me. That person was not a very nice person. So I wouldn't do that ever again, no. Let's help people with life. Uh, life is about helping and sharing and caring. And that's what it's all about. What's your favorite meal is asked by Bunny. Uh, I'll be honest with you, my favorite meal, I love pizza. At the moment, uh, I'm not supposed to eat pizza, but I love pizza. What else do I like, chili? What else do I like, curry? What else do I like? Sushi. What else do I like? She's not allowed to answer. I like food, okay? I just like food. Uh, I'm not allowed to have a lot of food at the moment, so I just... Uh, to have just plain water and other stuff. Gosh. Um, what's my most memorable birthday? My 18th, because someone robbed me at knife point. It was amazing. Not. Uh, do I like dogs or cats? I like both dogs and cats. I have dogs and uh, cats. Unfortunately, one of my cats died a couple of weeks ago, which is sad. Um, but yeah, I love those. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'll, I'm not going to ask you. This one's from uh, Dana Banana. Uh, well, I'm... Or Dana Banana. Or Dana Banana. Uh, well, I'm not going to ask you if you're a Yankee fan again or all. Uh, so, uh, how about, um, how many brothers or sisters do you have and how old are they? Right, I have two brothers. One is Matthew, he's the older one. Uh, one is Ben, he's the smaller one who's got crabs. Just in case anyone <laughs> forgot that he's got crabs, Ben's got crabs. I've got a long video about Ben having crabs actually, which I didn't post because uh, got, I couldn't finish it. Uh, I got very sick, so one day maybe I'll, I'll post this uh, video where we were in a shop. Uh, <laughs> It was brilliant. We were in a shop and Ben started talking. And I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. And then Ben was like, I've got to go, I've got to go. I was like, where are you going? And he's going, I'm going to see this uh, girl. Obviously, his uh, partner or someone, I don't know. Um, and he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go off now. And I was like, okay, go off then, go on. And then I shouted uh, across the room. Um, Loads of people love you on YouTube, but I don't. And then the whole kind of room just said exactly the same thing. Uh, it's brilliant, but I need to put it into a video. It, it, it just needs to be done. Uh, so Ben is 26. Matt is four years older than me, so 36. Uh, lovely people. My brother plays, my older brother plays for the band The Joy Formidable. Uh, he's the drummer, if you want to check them out. Um, so yeah, he's the drummer for them. <clears throat> my little brother's just an idiot. Uh, he's got crabs. No more to say about that. Um, May, did you have really good health before getting cancer? Answer to that is not particularly looking after myself before I had cancer. I used to be a fitness freak. Uh, I used to fight all the time. Um, by fighting, I, I did um, a lot of boxing, kickboxing, um, MMA. I did a lot of fighting. I used to like fighting. Um, but no, I didn't really keep myself to my fittest, but I was fit, I guess, and healthy. Uh, I had asthma and stuff, but you can control that stuff. But yeah, that, I'm sorry, Mayo. I, I can't give you a better answer than that. I was trying to be healthy before, and I do kind of try and live healthily. 
Um, Sir Cat, uh, 1951, you've asked. Uh, uh, do I like playing sports and do I like American football? Be honest with you, I don't know enough about American football to uh, say much about it, um, but I do like the halftime show. I'll give you that. I like the halftime show. Um, do I have an affinity for the monarchy? I, I love the Queen. Everyone in the UK should love the Queen. Uh, not just because she's the Queen, but because she was. she's just an astounding woman. The things that that woman has achieved in her lifetime is just off the chart. Uh, maybe one day I'll do a video on that actually because that is off the chart. She, she is a good woman and yeah, regardless of what people say, um, she is a good woman. She works very hard and she's old now, you know, uh, she's quite old. Uh, who's next? Uh, John. Uh, John's asked, do I have a partner? If not, am I looking? I'm not looking and uh, have a look on Instagram. I'm not going to answer this anymore. Have a look on Instagram. Uh, your videos are empiring. I think that's meant to say inspiring. Uh, they must be hard to do at times. Do you ever think uh, of a day, ever have a thing, day? Why not? Oh, do I ever have a day where I don't want to update people? Yes, all the time, every day. I feel like rubbish most days. Uh, if you, um, yeah, I just don't want to do it most days, if I'm honest. But I, I've started something now and I'm quite committed to doing what I've started. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and these other question is, do we ever get to see Claire's face? Yes. Look on Instagram, as everything else. <laughs> um, uh, the research you've done, uh, are you going to collate it and put it out for people to see? Yes, that is definitely going to happen. That research is going to be available to everyone uh, doctors, every, basically everyone. We're having a proper medical research team look into everything and go through it all. So that is an important part of what's going to happen. So that, that is definitely going to happen. Um, what is my favourite film? And if I had someone to play me in a film, who would I choose to have them play me? That's from Spooner Mum. Who would play me? Who would I have to play me? Claire. Who would I have to play me in a film? <clears throat> Don't know. Don't know. Uh, someone said the other day, I look like Ricky Gervais. <laughs> but he's a rubbish actor. Funny comedian, but rubbish actor. Um, uh, definitely not him. Um, but yeah, my favourite film of all time is Donnie Darko. Deep, twisted, weird, and very up my street. So yeah, next question is from Bobby. You've done this on purpose. Uh, what is <laughs> Bobby Morrow? One zero zero one nine seven six. That's Bobby Morrow. One zero zero one nine seven six. Yeah. Um, not a nice one. And I understand if you don't answer it. I know your class is terminal all now, but have they given you a time that they expect you to be around? How long is a piece of string? Uh, we don't know how it's affecting my body. We know it's spreading rapidly. Uh, it's very dangerous. It's very uh, evil, this uh, cancer. So we, we don't know how it's gonna spread. We don't know how it's gonna work in conjunction with my body. And we don't know how it's gonna really how I'm going to succumb to it. So it's really important to uh, try and gauge every day as best I can and enjoy them as best I can because I don't, like I said to my dad yesterday, it could happen in a week, it could happen in a year, it could never happen. I could just get old. Um, the idea now is to just prolong life. So that's what we're trying to do. Uh, <laughs> Dana Banana again. Uh, do you really smell of cheese? No, I don't smell of cheese. Uh, my feet apparently smell of cheese. I just got interrupted again, even though they were told not to interrupt. God. Um, 
Deviant Pixel, hi there. Uh, I'm new to your channel and so glad that I found it someone as inspiring as you. Uh, you may have covered this before, but right up to um, the moment that you were diagnosed, did you have an instinct that it could be or was cancer? Uh, rooting for your health always. X. Uh, that's not an X to the Z exhibit, that's just a, a kiss, I guess, at the end. Um, yes. Uh, I'd phoned my mum and said that I potentially thought as the way the doctors were acting that the severity level was high so I did until I was diagnosed like two months after I'd had the operation originally um, yeah I had an inkling definitely <clears throat> you can't kind of deny it really sometimes it just happens um, always get checked by the doctors uh, I can't say the last one that just came through because it was abusive. So I've not read these, so these are just like literally coming off the cuff. Um, so this one is from Bobby. Do you have plans for marriage or kids? Uh, I'm not going to marry a kid. <laughs> and as for marriage, who knows? Life is one of those weird things that you never know what's going to happen. Um, but I'd rather stay alive at this point in time um, than, yeah, do anything like that. Um, this one is from... Nah! Uh, I think it's from... Uh, uh, someone who's just put not applicable in the thing but um, uh, can you show us or tell us about your tattoos yes I can uh, there's one it says we will never be equal uh, there's another one it says born lucky uh, this is Alice in Wonderland really badly done I've got forever written on my chest uh, I have tattoos all down my legs uh, on my back of my neck, I've got an ironic tattoo that says slowly fades, slowly fades away. And guess what, guys? It's faded away. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I've got loads. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. if you wanna know anything more about those, it's probably best not to ask, because they're just horrific. <clears throat> um, this one's from Sapphire Ice. Um, if you, yeah, they were asking, do I do anything creative like art, colouring, music, writing, etc, etc, etc. These are good ways of de-stressing. Yes, I do. I, I do actually. I sit a lot of the time, I listen to music whilst on my um, laptop. And I do draw a lot on my laptop. I do a lot of artwork on my laptop. Um, I do a lot of kind of photoshopping and uh, I use Illustrator, I, I'm quite good at animating, I'm a software developer so I build uh, web based applications and stuff like that. So I, I do do a lot of stuff, yeah. But for me, de-stressing is more lying down, eyes closed, listen to music and just like kind of meditate I guess people would say is to just de-stress. Doesn't ever work but try it. Um, this one is from Susan Brockbank. It's about the tattoos again. I've got loads. I can't uh, show you them all. One day I will do a tattoo tour, I guess, if we can find someone who wants to show you those. Um, this is from Bobby Morrow again. He's got a joke. I'm just going to have to double check it. Oh, it's a long joke. I'm actually going to show you this one tomorrow. I'll, I'll share that one tomorrow. Um, this one's from Vicky Rogers. Dan, uh, have you consulted with any doctors from America or any of the other top institutions uh, like MD Anderson? Uh, and so, if so, what were their responses? <clears throat> they basically uh, have come back to us and said that we're going right down the right path. Um, there's not much else I can do to make the situation any easier. Um, or to alleviate the problem. We've tried everything, we're trying everything. Um, so yeah, they're, they're with us as well. We've spoken to them, so yeah, we're just doing our best. 
Um, this one's from, uh, oh, Lemon Drops Blue. And he says, what is the best thing that has happened in your life? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you a really good one though. My little brother Ben, the one with crabs, he phoned me up one day just after my birthday and he said, I have a baby. And I was like, you're joking. Your missus was here yesterday and she wasn't pregnant. And yeah, it turned out that she gave birth to a baby boy who is Noah, my nephew, and he is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and he's probably one of the uh, coolest things uh, ever, really, to be honest. Um, such a lovely, intelligent, inspired, cuddly, loving kid. Um, but yeah, you can see him in some of my videos. He goes like, I keep trying to get him to go shopping, just because I can. Um, but yeah, we've taught him some cool stuff. Uh, but I need to teach him some naughty stuff soon. Uh, <clears throat> uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this one is uh, from Michelle uh, Conti, and it's saying, how are your friends and family holding up and how do you think they can best support you? Now, I've actually done a video on this, which I was gonna post earlier, and I decided not to post it. It's quite funny that you should ask this. Um, I decided not to post this video today, and I decided to ask. I was feeling really low this morning. I'm really depressed and down. Um, and I decided not to post that video, so I decided to post a different one where I asked people to send me questions. Um, it, it's not handled well by anyone. At all. People don't realize that their stress breeds stress in other people. Then their stress also then isolates me more. So in trying not to be selfish, people end up being selfish. And they don't mean to do it. And they don't really understand how they're doing it. But breathing space sometimes for people and like just breathing space for everyone needs to happen sometimes. Uh, and I, I actually did a video all about the fact that I just want to run away. Because I don't like seeing my family or people close to me upset. So, yeah. No, that's, that's how it is. But people are supportive. Very supportive. Um, but sometimes it's hard. Especially in this situation. Uh, this one's from Sonia. Uh, pineapple on pizza or is it the biggest sin in pizza terms ever? Well, let me tell you something straight off the cuff. Pizza is one of my favorite things in the world. And I'll tell you what, I'm allergic to pineapple, so don't do it. It's wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, this was once from Mandy UK. Now you are at a place in life uh, what is the best bit of advice you would give to people that live their life and get stressed over the smallest of things? Stress about it. Just, just, just rip yourself apart and stress about it. No. Um, you need an adequate amount of stress to be able to understand the situation. So this is the situation, this is the stress. Now, at this point in time, my situation is all over here and my stress level is here. So if I then bring the stress level and the situation together and they start fighting and clashing and then beating each other up, then that just like wreaks havoc in my brain um, and my body and everything. And then I can't even just, I can't even function. Um, your brain can do magnificent things, but at the same time, your brain can do things that just tear you apart from the inside. So if, if I can give you one bit of advice to do with that, think about the situation and pick it apart from the inside out. Because if you look at that kind of, what the way I look at it is the stress level and the problem that I've got is because I can't work it all out. 
So if I search for an answer or if I search for something that can make it better, potentially then I solve a problem for other people as well as myself, but then I can potentially solve a massive riddle. And that would be cool as hell. But my stress level is high, just like everyone else. Um, on to the next one, Sherry Jordan. Has stem cell therapy been considered or is it not even an option with your particular type of cancer? It's been considered, it's not an option at this point in time, maybe after surgery. We don't know. Uh, we shall have to see. We have to send stuff off to try and find out about that though. So yeah, on it like a car bonnet. Um, this is another one from Gail about my tattoos. Uh, why did I get them? Because uh, I was stupid and young and regret it now. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't regret it really. Uh, oh, this one's from Andrew Mundell. Uh, what do you do to try and relax? Uh, I actually just sit there and reply to comments at the moment. <laughs> I actually uh, sit and research stuff. Um, what else do I do to relax? I just don't really do much apart from just try and relax and get out into the big wide open world, I guess. Um, yeah, relaxation is hard to find in this kind of situation, um, unfortunately. Uh, Kristen, uh, these are the questions from Kristen. Let me just scroll down. Uh, do you have a desire to seek treatment in the US? I have actually uh, made inquiries. We have made lots of inquiries. Uh, are you able to travel to the United States? I am able to travel to the United States. Uh, if so, can I submit your story to the big talk shows uh, in the US, like Ellen, Oprah, The Doctors? You can submit my story to anyone you like. Uh, it's whether I want to correspond with them. Uh, I had someone get in touch with me today from uh, something quite big and I said to them, go away. So uh, it depends who the person is. So yeah. Um, in regards to the travel to the United States, part of the research stuff is I have actually at some point really got to travel to the United States anyway. Um, so. I'm gonna to have to go over there anyway at some point in time. So it, it's gonna happen, just when it happens is whenever it happens. And um, yeah, I, I, I'd love to get back over to the United States again because it's somewhere I love to go. So yeah. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I know this is this is just crazy, man. Uh, you've got, I did say you could ask anything. Count Dankula. Uh, <laughs> I can't say this. Oh, I can't say this one. I'm sorry, but I do love it. Thank you. Uh, Beantree, would they operate sooner if you find multiple evilish cancer lumpy things? No. They won't operate sooner because we have to get all the information together. We have to have all the tests done and we have to have all this stuff done right. Uh, all the scans need to be in the right place, all the information. I'm treated by multiple uh, hospitals and all that information has to go through back to the hospital that's treating me. So we have to make sure that we're getting everything done correctly. At this point in time, we can't see a reason why I'm going to end up dead within a week. So hopefully I'll survive till that point. Um, I do have a hell of a lot of cancer in me, uh, but this is life, you know, this is real life for me. Uh, <clears throat> how is Claire handling my cancer? She's not a surgeon, so she's not touching it. Justin Delino, what advice would you give someone who's suffering from cancer or how did you cope when you found out you had cancer? Well, I didn't cope with it very well. I found it very hard. People in life don't understand things. People didn't understand the fact I had cancer uh, and they were very nasty. Uh, I lost jobs because of it. Uh, people became manipulative, trying to steal from me, take things. Um, that's how life was. Um, 
If you're suffering from cancer, try and look on the bright side. You're alive. Um, a lot of people that have cancer don't always make it. Just be happy that you're alive. And if you can do something nice for other people, just do it. <clears throat> just because I've got cancer, that doesn't mean that my life's over. Doesn't mean that my life has to be less worth it for other people. So that's that. Just stay positive, stay on the bright side. This one's from Ashley. Do I think there's anything that happens to us after life, like in an afterlife reincarnation? Uh, am I afraid of death? No. I'll be honest, no. Um, not even close to worried about death. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably be worried when it happens, um, but not worried about it. Uh, afterlife, who knows? I don't want to speculate, as they say. I don't know why I've, I've turned into Reese Darby. Turn into Reese Darby, okay. Um, this one's from Looney Canuck. Uh, <coughs> Did I know Claire before I had cancer? Yeah, of course, yeah, I did. Um, what's, oh, did I know Claire, actually, did I know Claire before I had cancer? Not the first time I had it, uh, but this recurrence, I know before this recurrence. Um, what's worse than waking up, <laughs> this is a joke by the way, I, I'm just reading this out without even re working out what it says, what's worse than waking up at a party with a penis drawn on your face, finding out it was traced, wow, 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 uh, there's another one from her, uh, that's exactly the same email, so I won't read it out again, uh, this is one from, um, this one's another one, uh, exactly the same from uh, Chuck Pimo. Chuck Pimo. Uh, do you think that anything happens after you die, or do we go to heaven or hell or reincarnation? I don't know. Everyone wants to believe that there is something, but I can't honestly tell you if there is or not. I don't know. Um, this one's from Edith E.M. Uh, right then. Um, this is a really, really good joke that needs to have its own time. So I'm going to sort that out tomorrow. Um, this is from Lexiville. Uh, my first question is, how did you find out about you had cancer? Basically, uh, my cancer grew in my back and they thought it was shingles. Uh, wasn't shingles, cut it out and they found out I had this rare type of cancer. Since then, I've just had a shed load of recurrences and we're here at this point now. So. There we go. Um, so, this is another good one. What are your thoughts on the theory that starving cells out by consuming less sugar or slowing down growth by consuming different things? Now, this comes up a lot in my uh, comments section. If I did that for my body at this point in time, I'd die. So, my body needs sugar, needs all these other things to actually survive at this point in time because there's a lot of cancer in me. So, I understand the theory. I understand it completely. But for me, it's not going to work. Uh, not at the moment, anyway. Uh, what's my main hobby? I love art and things like that and being silly. So, being silly is probably my main hobby. Um, this one's from Eric. Uh, what is your personal theory on how you got this cancer? Pure genetics, exposed to something... Uh, non rinsed veggies or bug spray or whatnot. I actually probably have the best idea or theory about this. I used to fight, as I said before, and fight all the time. I got kicked in the back and then stamped on in the area that I got this cancer originally. So I think the stimulus there from broken things uh, stimulated the growth of these cells and then potentially gave me the cancer. Um, bad life choices, let's be honest. Um, uh, five most meaningful, this one's from uh, Sarah Spencer, five most meaningful, memorable, defining or proudest moments in life. Now, I've not had many proud moments in life. 
Um, no. None. Nothing. Nothing really, unfortunately. Hopefully I can do something in the future and you can come back to me and I'll give you five meaningful, worthwhile things that I've done in life. Um, but for the moment, no, not really. No. Uh, this one's from Kelly. Uh, do I believe in life after death? I don't know, to be honest. Again, don't know. Uh, this one's from Twins Gran. Um, this one's also, do I have plans to get married? No, I don't, unfortunately. Uh, this one's from Dina, I think, Kerr, Dina Kerr. Um, are you trying to reach your subconscious in order to heal? I think it's quite clear that I, I actually talk to my subconscious quite a lot, uh, and I do a, have a lot of control over my body pain-wise, uh, manipulating my body in certain ways so as pain and my threshold for pain is high. Uh, whether that's got something to do with the fact that I used to take severe beatings, uh, who knows. But yeah, my pain threshold is high. So I must be talking to my subconscious on a level and I've stayed alive for a long, long time, longer than most people with this type of cancer. So yeah, must be doing something right. Um, this one's from Marcus. Hi there. I'm 25 years old and I found your videos really helpful. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you're going through... Um, right now. There's no, there's no question here, but you just wanted to say thank you. That is, that is lovely. Uh, thank you very much. Back to you, Marcus123. Thank you. Uh, and I agree, I hope I get enough sorted so as we can get research. So that is very important. Um, this one's from Melody. Uh, what is something you did as a teenager that would have gotten you grounded if your parents found out? I did a lot of stuff as a teenager. Uh, my parents probably already know. Uh, I used to go out and get drunk all the time in the park and stuff. Uh, I remember one time doing a poop in someone's motorbike helmet whilst it was on the back of the bike. Uh, I used to do lots of naughty stuff. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of naughty stuff. So, you know, probably better to ask me something that uh, is, is known. Uh, yeah, that I did good. Um, <laughs> it's bad. Uh, not a bad person anymore. Um, do you believe in the right to die as it's illegal in the UK? This is from James Roberts. I understand. I understand it. It's hard to explain why I understand it, but I understand it. There's this whole thing of um, people overdosing on pain medication and things by accident, like accidental overdose. And I understand it. The pain level is so high and I, I'd have before just been like, oh, these guys, why would they do that? Um, but now I understand it. I think everyone has the right to die. But at the same time, I also think that everyone has the right to live. So I'm all for living, to be honest. Um, and as I'm the person I am, I fight for everything. I will fight to the death um, with this. So I'm not about to give up at all. Um, and I would hope that no one else would, hopefully. Um, this one's from Shattered Ripple. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I cure cancer, obviously. My superpower would be I'd just, I'd just be able to go, and it goes, that's it, gone. Gone, just walk up to people. Ow. Just like that. No, if, if I could have some like common superhero powers, 
Uh, I'd want to be Superman. Cause he's, he's got all the powers, hasn't he? And I just not have the kryptonite allergy. Saying that, I've got pineapple allergy. So <laughs> my kryptonite would be pineapple. Pineapple, no! Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I, I'd want to just do something good with it. Uh, this one's from Disney Gamer. Am I getting married? No, I'm not going to get married. What the hell? Um, who knows what life holds for you? Um, what is your favorite place for a holiday? Uh, where is one place you'd really like to go? My favorite place for a holiday is always New York. Uh, I love New York. Um, I've just canceled a holiday to Paris, to Disneyland. Because uh, I booked that for Christmas um, last year, I got it for Christmas. Um, I can't go because I'm sick, uh, so I couldn't even enjoy it even if I wanted to. Uh, so I've cancelled it, uh, same as I've cancelled loads of other stuff. Um, but I love those places. I love Disney. I love New York. Um, and yeah, I love that. Uh, Aunt Jackie, um, my dad got cancer. He keeps racking his brains trying to figure out why or how. Are you wondering how you got? I was thinking, uh, my I, I think my dad was looking for something to blame. Now that's a good question. That's a very good question. Uh, let's rephrase it. Are you wondering how you got cancer? I've just explained that, but. Are you looking for something to blame? I'm not looking for something to blame, and I'm, um, I don't think your dad's looking for something to blame. I think there's a constant thing of like, people misconceiving or not understanding cancer. Cancer can be like a genetic modification. It could be just some cells just decide to just branch out on their own and just be like, bro, I'm going on my own that way. And then he's like, oh, come on, bro. And then another bro comes along and then like, bro, bro fight. And then more bros come in and then bro fight in. And then there's this like massive cancerous thing going on. And then they're like, it's spring break. And then loads of other people come across and they're like, like, Wee, hoo, party time. And then it grows exponentially and everyone's like wrecked at the end of it and falling over all over the place and that's how it is. But cancer is just crap, if I'm honest. <clears throat> if, if we could blame it on something, we would. You know, it's just rubbish. Uh, loving life. Uh, how do you keep from falling prey to the evil trap of self-pity? I struggle with that every day. I do as well. There we go. Uh, self-pity, why would you self-pity yourself? Why do you need to have pity for yourself when enough people probably have pity upon you as well? Um, Self-pity doesn't help anyone. Doesn't help anyone in any situation. If you lie in bed all day wondering about how you've got into a situation or, oh, I'm in debt or I'm dying or I'm sick and I'm wasting away, <clears throat> which I am all of those things. Um, You're never going to live life, are you? Never going to have any fun. Never going to be able to be you. So don't do it. Don't self-pity. Uh, <clears throat> this is from Jax. Um, where do you get the strength from to have the attitude you've got? Most people would have given up, especially when they're not feeling so well. I'll tell you what. Can you hear from my breathing? So I'm out of breath, just talking to you, trying to be uh, here, talking to you. I'm wheezing. I'm not very well as it is, you can probably tell, but I'm still going to answer your questions. Uh, I've got this attitude of, I can do this, I can still have a normal life. And I'm trying to still have a normal life, as much as I physically can. Um, so I think that's very important. So I think the strength that I get to deal with situations and try and understand them is from the fact that I want to solve them. And not just for myself, but for everyone. Um, what kind of music do I like and do you play any musical instruments or have you ever wanted to learn any instruments? That's from Ghost Fields. Ghost Fields. Ghost Fields. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what that was all about. Um, I can play the trumpet. 
I can play the drums. I can play the cornet. I can play the baritone. I can play the clarinets. I can play the flute. Uh, pretty badly, but I can. Um, I used to DJ. I used to do lots of stuff. Uh, my dad's very musical. I can kind of play guitar. I can kind of play the full. I've played the full very well. Um, but yeah, the musical instruments love music. Um, music wise, I love good music. I love EDM. I love uh, kind of like dubstepy stuff. I love hip hop. I love rock music. I love uh, metal. I, I just love everything, really, to be honest. Uh, show tunes. Love a good show tune. Um, but I, at heart, I, my favourite band is Pure Ring. Uh, look at them up. Um, but yeah, their song As I Do. Oh, I love it. Um, but yeah, it's all about that. Uh, this one's from Leah. Uh, have uh, I see you have some tattoos, a nose piercing, and retired strobe uh, stretch lobes? Uh, can you tell us about it? I've done tattoos already. Uh, have I got piercings? Um, and when did you wear jewelry in your earlobes? And when did you take them out? Well, I'll tell you what. I've got they're pierced. Uh, they're pierced. They're pierced. They're pierced. They're pierced. They're pierced. There, I used to have pierced, and uh, yeah, that was a bad life choice. Um, it lasted about half an hour, and yeah, that that's that. Um, tattoo wise, uh, I've explained this. Um, would I like something from France? This is from Colossus. Um, why not? Uh, and. Um, have you ever thought of having a child? This is a sore subject for me, that one. One of the one things I regret from life is not having a child of my own. And the likelihood is now I won't. So, there we go. But, as I always say, here's to helping. Uh, have I researched essential oils, diet change, um, and stuff like that. Uh, this is from Walkabout Hannah. Uh, I have researched it massively. I'm, I'm not gonna do any videos that advocate anything. Uh, I'm not gonna do any videos that tell people about diet or stuff like that. I'm trying not to give out what my diet is or anything like that as well, because I don't want to put people into dangerous situations. That's it. Um, Saying to someone that this could cure your cancer when they're desperate can be a very dangerous thing. Um, very dangerous. Uh, but I have looked into it all. Um, I'd be stupid not to. But it's for another video, uh, for another time. Um, Bexy06. <clears throat> I don't want this. Okay, I don't want this to come across as a completely crazy nonsensical question. I'm a 16 year old looking for some different perspectives. What do you feel the meaning of life is? Uh, I don't necessarily believe there is an inherent reason for life's existence or that anyone knows what they are, uh, knows why they are here or what do you but what do you feel gives life meaning or gives your life meaning? Well, <clears throat> straight off, I can tell you that the one thing that gives my life meaning is knowing that I potentially could make a change. Another thing, as some people try and act funny and say, the meaning of life is 42 because it was in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's not true. It's not true, guys. Um, I think life's all about what you can get out of it and what you can put into it and help other people with. And if you can help other people through your life and the changes in life and stuff that you do, then it's very, very important to do that. Um, very, very important to do that. And I think I'll do a video on that. Um, Beck 6 I'll do a video on that. Because I think that's actually quite important to cover. And whilst I'm not feeling very well, I think it would be cool to do a video about that. So yeah, I'll do a video.
uh, Mia P. Um, let me have a look at what. You, do you have any ways of coping with illness-related? Do you have any ways of coping with illness-related anxiety? What do you do in order to keep your uh, or make yourself feel better within this situation? I'll tell you what, laughter is the only thing that really gets me out of a really deep spot. I'm being stupid and silly and trying to make other people laugh. If I can get someone to laugh and just them laugh with me, even though I'm in pain, then it's brilliant. And right now I'm in agony. Uh, which you can probably tell if you've watched the video through uh, all the way. It's like nearly an hour this has taken me. Um, <clears throat> but I really want to get through it. Uh, I've got real bad pain in my face um, and down my side, but I'm going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. Yes, we are. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of don't get that anxious. I get worried about things for probably about 24 hours and then I shake it off. Taylor Swift side. Shake it off, shake it off. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, um, <clears throat> if you could pick out your life uh, one or two regrets, what would they be? This is from Loves Cats. Uh, one would be that I made many mistakes in my life um, and didn't need to make them. And two would be not having kids or anything. Big mistake, that one. Uh, Lady Lee, <clears throat> what are the tattoos and what are their meanings? Uh, I'll do that in another video. Um, if you had a chance to do over in life, what would you do differently? This is from Junior Landerverde. I can't say that, I'm trying, but I can't. Uh, <clears throat> do over, what would I do differently? I'd be more compassionate to people when I was younger. Be more compassionate to people as a teenager and I'd be more compassionate to people in life. I'd have completely redone my life completely. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a teacher for special needs kids. Uh, I probably should have done that. But you live and learn, don't you? Um, Jilly, uh, this is a joke. <laughs> Bacon and eggs walked into a bar. Bartender says we don't serve breakfast here. Badoom, it's a good one, it's a good one. Um, Maritza, I was wondering what kind of music you listen to and do you speak any other languages? I can't even speak English, so I can't speak any other languages other than English. Um, I do try, um, but I'm not very good at it, so. Yeah, and what kind of music do I listen to? I love all kinds of music, but I do really like um, electronic, some good bass and stuff. I like some good metal, like uh, I love a good bit of rock, uh, soft rock, a bit of Bon Jovi, a bit of uh, Queen. Uh, I love I love music in general. I love show tunes. Uh, I love. Uh, just music in general. I love it. Uh, this one is from Seamill. Uh, why can't we see? I, I've, I'm going to have to re rejig this because other people have asked the same question and I've answered it loads. But uh, why can't you see, or when are we going to see Claire in the vlog? You're not, unfortunately. Uh, the reason she can't be in the vlog is because it's a mass conflict of interest uh, to certain things. and genuinely she can't be in it um so yeah i'm sorry um this one's from george uh what who's your biggest inspiration uh and also a jaffa cakes jaffa cakes or biscuits i'll be honest a jaffa cake let's go for the jaffa cake one first a jaffa cake I've got even more questions. I've just had another 10 questions come in as I'm doing this. Um, Jaffa cakes are definitely a cake um, because they're soft. They're soft like a cake. Uh, they're not a biscuit. The, the clue's in the name. The clue is in the name. Jaffa cake. Okay, and who's my biggest inspiration? Um, I would say Anne McParland. <laughs> oh, that's a bad one, isn't it? No, um... 
Oh my days, who's my biggest inspiration? Um, no one, really. Um, I love Casey Neistat. I'll be honest with you, I'll be, I really like Casey Neistat because of the fact that Casey is doing this thing of, he's, a, he's become this like, he knows he's got a social responsibility and that's how I think I feel a bit now. I've got a bit of a social responsibility now to make sure that I do stuff correctly and I, I, I expose the things that I expose and I show life as it is for me. But I think it's important to kind of keep everything sensible and I think everything that he does is also in exactly the same light. So yeah, he's a cool dude. Uh, this one's from Rach. Um, oh, getting even more emails. Uh, okay, what is your favorite spot to eat when uh, going for lunch and where do you recommend to eat when visiting London? I don't even know the name of the place that I go to usually, but I go down to Covent Garden and just off Covent Garden there's a nice little pub uh, and they've got all the beef hung up and everything. Uh, I, I don't film what I eat um, because it's not good for people who are going through my situation to see what I'm eating, uh, just in case they're trying to copy my diet. Mine's for me, uh, me only, my diet. Uh, but restaurant wise, I love steak. Uh, haven't had one in ages, but I love steak. Um, if I go to a restaurant, it's usually for steak. Uh, thank you. Um, Kim Baker, uh, where does your strength come from? If it were me, uh, I would feel so bitter and so angry. Uh, I was like that for a long time. It's taken me a long time to adjust and get used to it. Um, it's not easy, but I'm trying, trying. Uh, my strength comes from the fact that I don't want to give up. Uh, don't give in, don't give up, as they say. Um, that's all it's about, you know. That's all it's about. Uh, Tanya, um, have you ever thought about? Have you ever thought about doing some public speaking or inspirational? engagement for fellow cancer survivors or fighters. Um, I've never thought about it, but I would do it if someone asked, of course I would. Um, probably not when I'm in surgery and stuff, but I would definitely s s do stuff like that. I'd love to talk to people and just spend more time with people. The whole idea of this vlog was to get interviews with people and that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna talk to other people, we're gonna find out points of view, perspective, and we're gonna just try and add some perspective to all of this because it's all good you seeing me go through it, but there's hundreds of other people who go through it as well. Um, and you've got massive corporations like Cancer Research UK and the UK anyway, um, who take everything out of context because all of their stuff is to get money. Whereas I don't wanna take it out of context. I want it to be raw and realistic. And yeah, if anyone wants me to talk or talk anywhere, just get in touch, send me an email. Uh, MC um, Nugget, Nugget, um, Nugget, uh, Nugget. Um, what's your favorite tattoo? I don't have one, mine are terrible. Um, and the final question comes from Claire. Can you stop vlogging? Because I want to use kitchen. Okay, cool. That's it for today. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.